Hey guys, welcome to another video here at STI Liz. I am at Subu's garage today. Say hi. What's up guys? <laughs> and we are going to be doing an install today and I'm super excited because it is my first power mod and as of now my car has basically just just a bunch of cosmetics so and well i mean i have an exhaust i guess that counts <laughs> um but anyways it's my first uh performance mod and we're actually going to be throwing on an intake so today we are going to be installing the carbon fiber redline edition intake from cob and we are also going to be throwing on a cob access port i'm only going to be going with the off the shelf tuned for now um, but yeah I mean in the future maybe I'll take it to get professionally tuned but I'm super excited because it is my first performance mod and shout out to Subu he's actually gonna help me ceramic coat it and install it because obviously I haven't messed with the engine so I'm kind of nervous um, and then I'm also gonna be detailing my car today aka uh, Mr. Suds Detailing and he actually ceramic coated my car once I got my wrap before Subi Fest last year and honestly I loved it um, I don't know if you guys saw on my Instagram I had posted it a while ago um, but yeah my car always looks amazing because of that and today he gave me a car wash and he actually cleaned my engine bay as well since I am installing an intake today I wanted to make sure everything looked perfect and it came out so good. Um, if you guys need a car wash, hit him up. He does a really good job. He's very detailed and super professional. And yeah, hit him up and make sure you guys follow him on Instagram. All right, guys. So this is a carbon fiber part and we do want to prolong the longevity of the lifespan of it. It's not 100% necessary and this is a beautiful gloss and clear coat on this piece, but uh, we really want to just add a little bit. It's like, it's like wax, I guess you could say. Uh, we're going to use basically CarPro's CK uh, Quartz 3.0 and we're just going to add a little bit of ceramic coat on the top layers all around. This way uh, it's going to be super hydrophobic and protect the lifespan of the clear coat. Alrighty, so here is all the components and all the hardware needed for the Redline intake. And here is the cover. It's so gorgeous. Look at all that carbon fiber and it looks so shiny that now that we actually ceramic coated it. So I'm glad that we did do that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, first step is just to put everything together. We're gonna do that here and then we'll take it over to the SUV and install it. Okay, so first step is basically just to expose the adhesive behind the foam seals that are provided. I'm just lining it up here as you can tell, um, just exposing all of the holes so that you can put the screws. Um, not that difficult. Next, we're gonna grab the brackets that are also provided and put the seals on them as well. It's pretty straightforward here, as you can tell. Just line it up and you'll be good to go. Um, after this, you are gonna wanna get the rubber grommet or seals, whatever they're called. Um, these are the larger ones that come included and you're just gonna pop them on here. It's not that difficult, just kinda wiggle it around. It should pop right into place. Um, same thing for this other bracket here. Subu was helping me. And then next, you are gonna wanna grab the actual cover of the intake. You're gonna grab these smaller seals and you're gonna put them on the intake as well. So you can see I was struggling a little bit because um, they're not as flexible since they are smaller. 
So that's done there. Alrighty, so up next, you're just gonna grab this plate and wiggle it around onto the housing, lining every everything up, and then you're just gonna put the screws and tighten it with the Allen wrench that was provided. I just, I decided to wipe it down just cause I was touching it and my hands were a little greasy. Um, but next, we're just gonna grab the filter and basically just pop it on. Um, you're gonna wanna loosen the clamp and then just tighten it after you're done. And after this, we did move on to removing my OEM intake. So here I am doing the process. Luckily, Subu had already done this before, so he was just walking me through all the steps. But if you guys do get confused, you guys can just look up a video or just watch some steps. Didn't really go into much detail here, as you can tell, but yeah. Okay, so now I'm back at the table and I'm basically just going to put the MAF sensor on now that we took it off of my OEM one. But just line it up, put the screws back, and you should be good to go. I didn't realize that they had given me some nicer ones. I was using the OEM screws. I ended up switching them out because I'm picky. <laughs> but you don't have to. You can use the OEM ones if you want. So after that, you're just going to put the filter in and then you're going to line up the MAF sensor facing upward. Um, you don't want it facing down. So here I am just making sure everything's tight. Next, you're going to grab the silicone elbow and the side that says cob is the side that you're going to actually put closer to the filter side and I basically just tightened it up and next we're going to move on to the actual car so I'm just removing the radiator stays because there's a couple brackets that you need to put under here well screws actually um, you just have to squeeze under here and try not to drop the bolts because it was pretty scary um, but yes we were able to do it um, there's one side and then the other side watch what we do <laughs> pretty creative if you ask me we actually used some tape and we taped it with the allen wrench so we wouldn't drop it and it was actually pretty successful if you ask me we didn't have any accidents we went ahead and did that and as you can see here we needed four hands to actually accomplish this but we got it we got it <laughs> and all done here I can't believe this just happened <laughs> on camera. <laughs> and this, ladies and gentlemen, is how a 30 minute install becomes a four hour install. 30 minute install. <laughs> Alrighty, so now we need to loosen up this bolt that's back there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's this one right here. We gotta loosen it, that way we can actually put the bracket um, right here and that'll actually hold the intake. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I think it's a 12 millimeter. So here I'm just struggling because it was a weird angle but I was able to get it off and line up the bracket. Um, we're just making sure everything is in place and making sure not to drop any more bolts. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we basically just put the bracket and then after that we just wanted to make sure it was tight So we use the impact. Okay, so here I am basically just putting in the intake I'm trying to be super careful because I don't want to scratch anything But here we are lining everything up making sure it grabs onto the bracket at the bottom And then here Subu is putting the fender bracket before we forget because I'm not gonna lie we almost forgot <laughs> we are now just lining everything up and making sure everything clips into place and basically just tightening everything but uh, yeah what do you guys think I think it looks so good I honestly love how it looks and I'm just really happy with the turnout Alrighty guys, so we just finished installing the intake. We're gonna move on to the access port right now, but it looks so good. I love how it looks. And the best thing about this guys is that it is 50 state legal. Um, it does come with a sticker so you can add it onto your intake. So you don't have to worry about getting pulled over and getting in trouble with the cops. I love how it looks. It turned out great and it was not a difficult install. There are very tedious things you need to do beforehand, but honestly, it was not that bad and 
I probably would have been able to do this myself. Uh, <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Subo's help was honestly the best. Shout out to him. Make sure you guys are following him. And yeah. Okay, so now we are moving on to the access port. I'm gonna let Subu take over just because honestly, I'm not that confident doing this by myself. I'm gonna be his moral support and we're gonna go through this. I am just doing the off the shelf tune and all of these maps you can actually find on the COG website. Just make sure you go with the one that is specific to your vehicle because you want it to be as safe as possible. You don't wanna damage anything. You don't wanna mess anything up. Um, so yeah, we are going to do that next and we just need to download the map onto the actual access port and we should be good to go. I heard it's a pretty easy process, so we'll see. Hey guys, Subu here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and help you guys install a COP access port. So first thing, we need to identify the components. This is your OBD2 reader. This will plug into the vehicle and this will basically plug into the bottom of the access port right over here. Uh, this is your USB to, I believe, a micro, U uh, micro C connection. This is basically to connect um, this part onto your computer to download any maps or firmware updates. I do basically advise that you update your firmware before you do this because it might have like some sort of error. If you don't, I believe you do have to update it. Without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get this plugged in. Alright, Liz is, oh my god, what are you doing? <laughs> Alright, back to the install. Uh, let's see if I can get some light over here, but your OBD2 port is basically underneath your vehicle. Let me put some light over here. And I'm gonna look down here, and it's right over here next to the uh, foot well rest, and then this is your clutch right here. So make sure to basically, there is a shape on there. Make sure to line it up straight. You don't want to damage any of the wiring or pins on your vehicle. A little harder to do this with one hand, but all right. That is connected in there. So next, we're actually gonna remove this part so we can do a cleaner install. You'll need a flathead and you can pop this little crevice out. There's an indent where you can insert the flathead into there. So you're gonna get this little interior piece off and then there is a screwdriver bolt. Simply just pry that off. And once we're done with that, we're gonna take both of our hands and pry this part and it should come off just like that. You could gently do it if you want. If you're, it is a little scary the first time. So just do it slowly and you'll, you'll pretty much get it. So we're gonna route the wires where we want our cob access port. And it's basically gonna sit right here for now. I took out this little cover and that's where it's gonna sit. But we have excess wire and obviously we don't wanna want that to show. So I'm just, I'm just gonna go ahead and zip tie this part right over here. And we're just gonna open up our access port mount right over here they do provide this that's the best part about it or you can get an aftermarket mount they have a rubber wipe because it is double-sided tape you do have to prep up the surface for any kind of bonding okay so i'm just going to go ahead and start mounting this back on all right so i decided right over here all right, so we went ahead and applied the holder right here. And now we're gonna go ahead and get this clipped on and plugged in on the bottom right here. Yeah. Hi guys. <laughs> oh, <wait>. oh. oh. <laughs> wait, what? Yeah. That's my car. So now we gotta install it. And then installation is pretty easy. You just have to follow exactly what it says on the screen. So when you click on install right over here, it's gonna tell you pretty much, um, Gonna get in communication with your vehicle. So you can see right there, it says, uh, go ahead and turn on the ignition to the on position. Don't clutch in, just okay. turn on to accessory mode. That one or the next one? Next one over, yeah. So two clicks, if you have push to start, or if you have the key, just click one click. So it says, please confirm if your vehicle matches. Yes, it does. Okay, click that. All right, so there are a number of uh, maps that are already preloaded onto this, as you can see right here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go to our stage one SF. Let me see if I can find that. Ninety-one. Be, yeah, yeah, plus plus SF, uh, SF 
Uh, that's for the intake map and then the 91 is your octane so if you have 93 available then you go with 93 on the website and download that one so we have 91 here in california so we're just going to go ahead and click on that and it's going to tell you to pretty much uh make sure your car battery is on and good voltage basically if your car isn't driven daily uh your battery might not be in its best shape for battery life oh it's gonna God. flash like crazy too <laughs> it's going crazy it's like christmas tree <laughs> i'm so excited hey, are you excited not really <laughs> <laughs> whatever I've hater done this too many times he's a hater sorry. just because he doesn't have an sti <laughs> oh. and then there's a lot of things that you could do right here like gauges if you have a check engine light you can troubleshoot with it uh performance it can uh basically read your 0 60 times and also reflashing it to different tunes and of course if you're selling your car you can uninstall it as well too ready mm -hmm. first and rev it a little bit with the clutch in. You can kind of hear it on. Yeah. A little bit. It sounds louder, no? It does. It does sound like, louder. Ooh. Yay! And then once you kind of go into boost, you can start uh, hearing like... Yeah. So I'm so excited. We finally did it. Thank you so much. Thank you, no thank problem. you. He's the best. So let me know if you guys have questions because obviously I had a lot of questions so I can refer you to Subu um, or you guys could just DM him. So I am driving and he was right. It feels like there is a death pedal. Um, it kind of feels like it's going to stall. It feels weird. But I'm going to just drive it for a few miles. Just regular. I'm not going to push on it and see how it does. But I'm just listening right now to see if I hear anything. Um, just want to make sure everything's okay. <laughs> recently but I've just had a lot on my plate lately and honestly I just haven't had enough time not even for myself so I'm so sorry please forgive me <laughs> but I do have something really exciting coming up um, I'm actually gonna film that video tomorrow and I should have it up pretty soon but I'm excited for you guys to see it it's something very different so yeah I can't wait for you guys to see but anyways um, I'm super happy with my intake right now my exhaust sounds a lot louder my pop sound louder and the tune definitely helped I feel like my car is a lot faster now but I honestly recommend it if you guys are thinking about going with the access port or even the intake do it I highly recommend it and one thing that I did forget to mention is that the intake is actually specific to the tune on Cobb's website so just letting you guys know if you guys want to purchase this make sure to use my code STLIZ for 10% off of the Rally Sport website. I'm really happy with this decision and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the next one.